So welcome back. This is the third video. Um, the second video I would have shown you how to create the table customers and insert the data. For the next two tables for the staff and products um, and orders and three tables, I'm not going to type in that. I'm going to pause when I'm typing in the actual code. I'm just going to show the code and execute it and then that means it saves in video time. So I have the code in for creating the table for the staff. The staff ID is an auto number, entity 11, S title, phone name, surname, password, PWD, and authority. And if I run that, you can see there it's created my staff table with the staff columns. If we go over and refresh the tables, it brings up the staff table, and I can take, so I can copy the code, save it. To codes doing then take a screen print showing the staff table been created so I'm now going to insert the records into the table staff so you see I've got the title four name surname password and authority and I don't have to put in the staff ID because it is in identity one one you'll see it's uh auto number so if i execute this and you'll see i put in my staff the next one i'm going to do is for orders or products so from a products table i'm going to have a product code it's going to be just an integer it's a number it's not going to have an identity 11 because they're just going to be different numbers for different products. I'm going to have a description, what the make is, and the unit price, which is money, is the data variable or the data type. And anything that's money, integers, numeric, um, they don't have a field size. So field size only relate to string values so i'm going to execute this and that has created my products table go over and refresh in the browser and i can see i have the products table and product code is the primary key and next i'm going to insert another few records for this table So now I'm going to insert three records into the product table. You'll see I have to insert the product code because it's not an identity 11, it's not an auto number. And you'll see if I bring that up, see identity seed and in increment has not been set. So I'm going to insert three values. My product code is an integer, so it doesn't, it's not surrounded by apostrophes and the same one with monetary values. So I execute this and I have three products added to my products table. So I'm now going to create my orders table and I'm going to go through the code because I'll explain it as I'm going through it. So create table is my command and it's tbl orders and I'm going to have open the brackets shift 9 go down a few lines and close my brackets shift 0 i'm going to have my order ref and it's going to be i'm going to have it as an integer it's just going to be a numeric value i'm not going to use an identity one one it's not going to be an auto number and it's going to be primary key so it's going to be primary key for the order um, i'm going to have an order date And again, it's going to be a date, and I want to have the user enter a date. And at the end of each of these, I have a comma. Subtot is the value that, so it's money, the subtotal of the order, and again, not null. 
on a comma. Uh, VAT, and if any you just want more advanced, you might want to have a calculated field here. I'm just going to show the basic. Again, it's money and not null. Under that, then I'm going to have my order vote. And again, money and not null. And again, bot and order tote could be calculated fields or computed fields as they're called. So they basically calculate from the subtote. And if anybody wants to do that, that's where the higher marks for this will be awarded. I'm going to have then O staff ID, and this is going to be my foreign key, and it's going to be an integer because if I look on the staff table, staff ID is an, int is an integer, and again the same on my customers, customer ID is an integer, so I'm going to have an int, and I'm going to reference this to that staff ID, so it's foreign key reference. And again, it's TBL staff and in brackets staff ID. So that's the primary key that I'm referencing this foreign key to. And then O customer ID or O cost ID. And again, it's going to be an integer because customer ID is cost ID is an integer in the customer table foreign. references and it's to the TBL customers and it's cost ID because that's the last I'm not going to have a comma the last entry in the create table command and I'm going to have then select all from TBL orders so this one now select up to show the cost the orders and you'll see the foreign keys references. So if I execute that, you'll see my order refs, primary key, and my two foreign keys. If I refresh my tables, right click and refresh, and if I show you my orders table, you can actually see the two foreign keys um, related to the primary key um, and again you can see and get details of the foreign keys so next I'm going to add in a few records into the orders table So to add in my records into my orders, um, it's maybe a good idea because you have a foreign key reference for cost ID and staff ID, you might want to create a new query and just select all from customer, TBL customers and select all from TBL staff. And this would be important so that you can see that if you're putting a value, so I have one for the staff ID and two for the staff ID, the, that one there and that one, and I have one for the cost ID and two for the staff ID. So if I run these, I need to make sure. So I'll have one and two and the staff of one, two or three. So I could actually have three as the staff ID and that will still work because there's a, a, a number three staff ID there uh, but the cost ID I can only put one and two so I'm going to execute and you'll see that it's added in now the dates and um, again for the more advanced you might want to look at how you can format your date to come in and um, this stage this is just the basic so the next uh, video 
we'll show you how to create the order line and reference that and into the products as part of the order line. So you're going to create a composite key and also foreign key reference for the two values that are going to be the um, composite primary key in the order line. Thank you.